it shall good morning to you and i trust that you are fine glory be to jesus christ we are sharing truth this morning on beware of deceivers coming from titus chapter 1 10 through 14. you're warmly welcome to the really really knowing god channel with me pastor larry adeneko this channel is packaged to inform as well as inspire you into a richer knowledge of the living god everything being powered by the pastor larry adeneko center for inspiration the place This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem stone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to know God enough to be able to filter the mishmash we have all around, this is your default channel and we are praying. Father in heaven, we bless you and give you glory and honor. You are good. You are good. Your mercy is endure forever. We thank you, O God. We ask for your help at this time, Almighty God, that there will be an utterance as well as hearing in Jesus' mighty name, and that that which we hear will not just uh, live there, but be doers also or practicalizers of them. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 10 this morning, <clears throat> for there are many insubordinate both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole household, teaching things which they ought not for the sake of dishonest gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, and lazy gluttons. This testimony is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. Okay, um, verse 10. Initially, he had begun now talking about the qualifications or the things to look at in, in appointing elders. Um, you want to remember that, <clears throat> excuse me, while we were talking about uh, in the book of Timothy, we spoke about appointing bishops. Um, so he was referring to these leaders also as elders at times, or overseers, elders, you know, they go together. The elder is some form of senior overseer, if you would. Okay, and then he now says, um they may be able by sound doctrine sound teaching to both to exhort and to convince those who contradict those who try to oppose the things they are teaching so now verse 10 because there are many that's it the reason he was saying all those things now that there are many people they are insubordinate in other words they do not tell uh, yield to the leadership of these people that um paul um, and, and titles have set in place <clears throat> and then they are idle talkers and deceivers <clears throat> excuse me they are idle talkers and deceivers especially those of the circumcision now whenever you see those of the circumcision here it's talking about people who have refused to um, understand and to preach Christ who believe who go on about the circumcision that Moses gave them from Abraham or from the fathers and this and that and that no matter what the case may be the circumcision is very very you know important whereas people like Paul says that all those things were types and shadows they were just um, um, a model of what was to come the real thing is there now if you are circumcised fantastic if you are not no problem that's what Paul and the rest were preaching so the, whenever I say of the especially those of the circumcision they are referring to those people who are preaching that circumcision is compulsory that's the people he was referring to now he says there are many insubordinate people insubordinate simply means you are not uh, yielding to the leadership set in, in, in place okay and then he says they are idle talkers <laughs> um, you can imagine what I will talk as mean here. People who just say things without weighing the things they say, you know, um, you know, uh, before before they say it. Or I don't want to use a stronger word like people who just talk uselessly. Who don't, you know, it's not going anywhere. Those things they are saying do not amount to anything. Okay, and then he says that some of them are deceivers especially those of the circumcision now some of these people they are just saying stuff you know those things they are saying they are not going to add anything to the lives of the people who are hearing but some of them are actually deceivers now when they are deceivers a little bit bigger than being an idol talker because a deceiver is attempting to um 
uh, pass across a wrong information and inaccurate information trying to mislead um, somebody in whatever that person believes or he, he or she was doing that's this a deceiver is trying to create a wrong impression is trying to i don't know whether to lure off somebody um <clears throat> seduce off what is correct and what is right and what is sound okay so, so some of them are deceivers especially the circumcision people verse 11 very strong statement whose mouths must be stopped so you see at times in the course of this work there are some people who are saying stuff and whose mouths must be stopped and the way to stop this mouth is for you to rightly divide the word of truth and teach it properly it's not necessarily by calling people names and and you know this and that just take the word of god and teach it well teach it consistently teach it brilliantly under the help or on the unction of the holy spirit as somebody who is rightly able to rightly divide the word of truth i was explaining this at the other time who was able to do proper um, uh, pegging and digging when you are about to build a house yeah when you have done a good job of that and done it consistently um People are going to see that this is the truth because the Spirit of God will help you while at it. And these other ones who are just talking the things they are talking or deceiving people are going to find out that um, they, are get, they are getting demarketed somehow. And the, the people who are listening to them are turning away from them. That's the way to stop their mouth. There's no other way by which you can stop these people. You cannot stop their mouth by coming out to make an announcement or calling them names or this and that. No, necessarily. That's not the way of, of the gospel. Hallelujah. Now it says their mouths must be stopped. Indeed. Mouths must be stopped. So from time to time, their mouths arise and need to be stopped. And may God empower and enable us to get those things done in Jesus' mighty name. He says, These people, they subvert whole household, teaching things which they ought not for the sake of dishonest gain. I don't need to emphasize on this. Most of us know this these days, that some people teach things they ought not to teach for the sake of dishonest gain. Just because you want to make some money or you want to make somebody uh, believe in you or defer to you or... Uh, accede to some of the things you are saying so that from there you can uh, make some uh, uh, financial gain um, from <clears throat> from the lives of people who probably have issues or problems or confusion or you know questions and, and things they want to just get light and move forward but some people take advantage of all of that you know by doing the things they do we know those things so well so you know <clears throat> we don't have to spend our time on all that it says one of them a prophet of their own said the christians are always liars evil bits and lazy gluttons this testimony is true it says one of them you know uh, maybe some uh, poet of theirs who described them the way paul has described he said that testimony so therefore i don't want us to spend time on that therefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith not giving heed to fables and commands of, uh, commandments of men and thereby torn from the truth now the 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 man of god the young preacher <clears throat> that titus was like here the man of god the, uh, the the pastor or the person in charge as the case may be um needs to uh at times come out very strongly on some matters from time to time these things arise and you need to come out and say this is the word of god and stay uncompromisingly on the word of god he says that you should rebuke people sharply yeah when people turn themselves into people who are picking little stops here and they are picking fragments all over the place and you know just trying to uh, gather crumbs here and there and all that and they are they are by unwittingly swallow the things they ought not to swallow a man of god a pastor a leader from time to time needs to come forward and speak in very strong times with his church and let them know that these things are dangerous for you these things are poisonous for you these things are going to at the end of the day land you where you never expected yourself you see therefore rebuke them sharply so that they may be sound in the faith and not giving heed to fables and myths you know like i say all the time this these things called fables uh it comes from a word that reminds you of myths these things are not true they appear to be true where, where when they deliver these words they appear to be true but those when you examine them very well you find out that those things are hollow they don't lead anywhere they don't have any substance at the end of the day in them so rather than you know giving heed or attention to such things and commandments of men who turn you away from the truth that's what the bible says he says the man of god should rebuke his members sharply and let them know that this is wrong and so anything that will turn our members from the truth it is important for us to stand strongly and to um 
uh, and to speak about it in strong terms and to make a very, very strong projection of, of the thrust of the things of God. This is important. Um, once in a while, it must come up in, in the course of ministry and it must come up and come up really strong as well. It says, therefore, rebuke them sharply. That's why I've, I've, I've gone on yapping this way. Rebuke them sharply so that they may be sound in the faith. It's important to be sound in, in your Christianity. The faith talking about here is your Christianity as a whole. It's important to be sound and not to be um, <laughs> what I often call featherweight Christians. At times I call them fele fele. You know, you, don't, you, do, you, don't, you just don't want that. You want to be strong in the Lord and in the power of, of his mind. You want to know the Lord and... and um, and be strong and perform exploits. That's the thing you you want. And uh, from time to time, a man of God must come forward to ensure that that is the case. God help us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Honestly, Christianity it's a it's an exciting um, a thing to, to to participate or to partake of. It's exciting. I can't trade it for anything. And that's why it's important for us to share this with people and let them know that look, do not miss out on that which is pure gold that you have. And let somebody take that from you and sell you imitation and things like that thank you very much for being there this morning please remember to give us thumbs up and to share 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 bless you